I know the market has been waiting to see how Grok does. One right. of these huge clusters of, of, of chips, right? Yeah, and this is coming out of that uh, supercomputer that he built uh, out there in, in Memphis, Tennessee. But look, this is Grok 3, the third version of the Grok AI chatbot from Elon Musk's company XAI. And they're claiming last night in the reveal that it's outperforming the competition. That means it's better than DeepSeek, better than ChatGPT. The AI arms race just took another major leap. And this time... It's Elon Musk's XAI making headlines. The release of Grok 3 has sparked widespread attention after early benchmarks showed it outperforming DeepSeek R1 in reasoning tasks. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Grok 3 didn't just surpass DeepSeek. It also came close to OpenAI's O1 Pro, a model that costs $200 a month. If you've been following AI developments, you already know the competition is heating up. OpenAI... Google DeepMind, Meta, and now XAI are pushing the limits of large language models, LLMs, each racing to create the most powerful AI. DeepSeek, a Chinese AI company, had been gaining ground with its DeepSeek R1 model, which showed strong performance in mathematical reasoning. But Grok3 just changed the game. The model is also the first AI to break 1400 plus on Chatbot Arena, a widely respected platform for ranking AI performance. To put that into perspective, it means Grok3 has outperformed Gemini, 2.0 Flash, Claude, and DeepSeek R1 in key reasoning tasks. But what makes this even more significant is how Grok3's new deep search feature attempts to compete directly with OpenAI's advanced research tools. The key question now is, how did Grok3 pull this off? And what does it mean for the future of AI? Grok 3's insane new capabilities? Let's break down what makes Grok 3 stand out. The model represents a massive leap from its predecessors, incorporating advanced reasoning in AI research capabilities. But the real shocker is how it competes with some of the best models in the industry. One of the biggest challenges in AI development has been complex reasoning, solving problems that require logical thinking, planning, and multi-step understanding. Grok3 has shown that it can handle these tasks more effectively than DeepSeek R1, which had been previously praised for its reasoning abilities. Andre Karpathy, former OpenAI researcher and now founder of Eureka Labs, had early access to Grok3 and tested it against OpenAI's O1 Pro, DeepSeek R1, and other major models. One of his most striking findings was that while Grok3 struggled in some areas, it consistently outperformed DeepSeek in reasoning-heavy tasks. For example, when testing AI's ability to create a hexagonal grid for the board game, Settlers of Catan, Grok3 handled it accurately. Something DeepSeek R1, Gemini 2.0 Flash, and Claude all failed at. Additionally, Grok3 introduced Deep Search, a feature designed to improve AI-assisted research. This is a direct competitor to OpenAI's advanced browsing tools and models like Perplexity AI. In theory, Deep Search should allow Grok3 to provide more reliable research-backed answers. How Grok3 crushed DeepSeek R1 in AI benchmarks. When it comes to AI performance, benchmarks matter. They provide a clear way to measure how well models handle real-world tasks. Chatbot Arena is one of the most trusted AI benchmarking platforms, where different LLMS are blind-tested by users. Grok3 not only scored the highest ever recorded on the platform, but it also left DeepSeek R1 behind in reasoning, logic-based queries, and complex problem solving. Breaking it down, Grok3 outperformed DeepSeek R1 in advanced mathematical reasoning, showing a stronger ability to handle complex calculations and logic-based challenges. It also excelled in long-form, multi-step reasoning tasks, where it outperformed both Claude and Gemini 2.0 Flash. Perhaps most notably, Grok3 competed with OpenAI's O1 Pro, $200 per month model, demonstrating capabilities on par with some of OpenAI's top-tier AI systems. One of the most important insights from Andre Karpathy's testing was Grok3's performance in training compute estimations. When asked to analyze OpenAI's GPT-2 technical paper and estimate the floating point operations per second flops required to train it, Grok3 handled the task effectively something even OpenAI's O1 Pro failed at. This showed that Grok3 is not just good at answering questions, but can also analyze and compute complex machine learning data with high accuracy. 
But while these results are impressive, it's important to look at what Grok 3 still struggles with. The surprising limitations of Grok 3. Despite its strong reasoning capabilities, Grok 3 still has noticeable weaknesses. One of the biggest issues reported so far is its tendency to hallucinate URLs and provide incorrect citations when using deep search. Carpathy himself pointed this out. When he asked the model to generate a report on major AI labs and their funding, it provided made-up figures and incorrect data sources. Even more interesting, Grok 3 forgot to include its own company, XAI, on the list. This shows that while deep search is an ambitious feature, it hasn't yet reached OpenAI's level of fact-checking and reliability. The challenge of hallucination in AI models is a well-documented issue, and Grok 3 still faces some of the same pitfalls as other LLMs. Additionally, Grok 3 is still a closed-source model, meaning researchers can't fully verify its architecture or training data. This puts it behind DeepSeek R1, which is an open-source project that allows transparency in its design. So while Grok 3's reasoning abilities are clearly stronger, there's still room for improvement, especially in areas like fact-checking and real-time research reliability. The Battle of AI Research The release of Grok 3 marks a major shift in the AI research landscape. Just a year ago, OpenAI was the undisputed leader, with its GPT-4 models setting the standard for language understanding and reasoning. Now XAI is catching up, fast with Grok 3 competing against OpenAI's O1 Pro and outpacing DeepSeek R1, the race for the best AI model has never been closer. For years, OpenAI has dominated AI development, with GPT-4 leading the industry in both speed and accuracy. But with the rise of XAI and DeepSeek, the competitive field is growing. DeepSeek R1 made headlines for its strong math and reasoning capabilities, but Grok 3 has now surpassed it, exposing its weaknesses in logic-based tasks. So why did DeepSeek fall behind? The answer comes down to general reasoning abilities. While DeepSeek R1 showed promise in math-heavy tasks, it struggled with broader problem-solving and multi-step logic, areas where Grok 3 has now proven superior. Additionally, DeepSeek's model is open source, which has its advantages, but it also means it may not be developing as fast as proprietary models like Grok3 and OpenAI's latest systems. So what happens next? All eyes are now on Grok4, the next generation model expected from XAI. If Grok3 has already reached the level of OpenAI's O1 Pro, what will Grok4 be capable of? Many experts believe that Elon Musk's long-term AI strategy will involve integrating Grok into Tesla, X formerly Twitter, and even Neuralink. But OpenAI isn't sitting still either. Rumors of GPT-5 are already circulating, with reports suggesting it could be released as soon as mid-2025. If Grok 4 is going to challenge OpenAI, it will need to match or surpass GPT-5's expected multimodal and reasoning capabilities. The battle between XAI, OpenAI, and DeepSeek is far from over, and the next few months could define the future of AI development. What this means for AI's future. The impact of Grok 3's success goes far beyond just beating DeepSeek. Every new breakthrough in AI raises the stakes for what's coming next. The competition between XAI, OpenAI, and Google DeepMind is driving AI development at an unprecedented pace. The big question now is, Will AI models evolve even faster because of this competition? The answer seems to be yes. In the past year alone, we've seen AI models dramatically improve in speed, reasoning, and real-time capabilities. Just two years ago, GPT 3.5 was the most advanced AI available. Today, we're seeing models far more powerful than GPT 40 emerge in record time. But what does this mean for consumers? The more AI models compete and improve, the closer we get to real-time, human-like AI assistance that can replace traditional search engines, automate workflows, and even enable thought-to-text communication via Neuralink. Another key question is how OpenAI will respond. If Grok3 is already competing with O1 Pro, OpenAI will likely accelerate its GPT-5 development. While OpenAI has not officially announced a release date, industry insiders suggest that GPT-5 could arrive by mid to late 2025, featuring even stronger reasoning, multimodal capabilities, and personalized AI agents. One thing is certain, AI is evolving faster than anyone expected. 
Grok 3's success signals that we are entering a new phase in AI development, one where models are not just faster, but also smarter, more adaptable, and closer to artificial general intelligence, AGI, than ever before. Why this AI war is just beginning. Grok 3's victory over DeepSeek isn't just about who has the better model today, it's about who will dominate the future of AI-powered search, automation, and intelligence. Right now, OpenAI leads the pack, but XAI is making aggressive moves to catch up. Google's DeepMind and Meta are also pushing forward with their AI models, while smaller companies like DeepSeek are innovating in specialized areas like mathematical reasoning and multilingual models. One of the biggest areas of competition is AI-powered search. OpenAI recently introduced ChatGPT's real-time web browsing, Google has Gemini, and Perplexity AI has dominated AI search engines. With Grok 3's new deep search feature, XAI is now entering this fight, attempting to create an AI model that can pull accurate, real-time data from the web. But there's still a bigger question at play. Who will own the future of AI? Tech giants are racing to build AI models that not only provide information, but also power entire ecosystems. OpenAI has Microsoft backing, Google has its own infrastructure, and XAI has Elon Musk's vision of integrating AI into Tesla, X, and even Neuralink. At this rate, AI isn't just about chatbots anymore. It's about reshaping industries, from education to healthcare to software development. Grok 3's success is just a stepping stone. The real AI war is only getting started. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.